February marks Black History Month. We're celebrating all month long. Kentuckiana history makers, who are we talking about today? And those don't necessarily have to be those who left us, but they're working to make a better tomorrow. Grace McKenna introduces us to a group of teenagers with a message for the whole city in another Moments That Matter special. The mighty shades of ebony are making noise for all the right reasons. Not many people do it in our generation, speak out and advocate for other people. The group and nonprofit arm Justice League LOU started out of Mazik Middle, teens with a mission to bridge art and activism. So maybe to all we need is a little bit of perspective change, you know. We've been looking to older people to be those leaders, maybe we just need some youth in there. They've created several music videos, hold literacy and public speaking and advocacy events, always putting passion at the forefront. I really think it's in the name. You know, when you talk about love, outreach, and unity, it's really about loving out, loving each other, outreaching to each other, and building ourselves as a community. It's not just about the chance to perform or create. It's about what voices and representation can do. As a young black girl growing up, I didn't exactly see a lot of heroes that looked like me, like in the media. In one of their latest pushes, Mighty Shades calls on Jack Harlow to form a strategic partnership. Hey Jack, this is the Mighty Shades of Ebony. Hoping hometown pride will help them make this hometown a better place. Uh, I want us to be able to make changes in today's world and not have to wait five or six years from now to make that change. Let's be the leaders of today. You could choose to see them as a group of kids, but that would be missing the point. We're fighting for our future and we're fighting for what we see right now. A lot of times we get overlooked because of our age. Far more important is how they see themselves. Inherently, I manifest my destiny. You can find out more about this group inside this story on our website, whas11.com. Grace and our Charlene Shanklin will be sharing more stories like this every Sunday this month.